Well, it's been a minute since I've recorded anything. It's probably been over a week. Got a long to-do list, but installed an air conditioner in the shop. You can't tell because I'm really sweaty right now. It's not really keeping up because, well, had the shop open a lot, or had the office open a lot. Doing some plumbing, putting in a shower, putting in a sink. Um, doing a whole lot of plumbing right now, finishing this out. Got a exhaust fan, so I don't you know, completely gas myself out of the office. And then put another sink here. Uh, it'll be nice to just have a place to rinse my hands off out here. Uh, I got the TV, couch, got a new refrigerator, a uh, cheapo marketplace one that works. Um, it's all stocked up with cold things to drink and little food, lunch meat, stuff like that. Um, this corner here under the stairs is where I'm gonna put a hot water heater. And then we're building a wall right here where this concrete ends. Um, and I'm gonna put a roll up door here so we can divide this off. I'm contemplating, <laughs> we're getting ready to tear the house down here at the farm. And I'm contemplating whether or not we want to uh, save the air conditioner off of that or not. We are gonna bring the furnace in for sure. Um, I'm not sure how much work it is to tie the air conditioner into that HVAC system, but it would be really cool if we could, I don't think that air conditioner would keep up with the shop quite, but we are gonna insulate that wall and that um, roll up door. So like if I wanted to pull a tractor in here to change the oil or something, that'd be nice. Uh, having like family get togethers, things like that, also would be nice to be able to air condition this. Uh, lots of cleanup going on, uh, reorganizing a lot of this stuff, getting rid of a lot of this stuff, uh, just going through junk we don't need and getting rid of it. Um, putting it in places where it has a place and where it doesn't just sit on the ground and that's its place. Um, so just a lot of organization. Uh, need to put the con concaves back in the combine. Those are the standard ones. Still got wheat concaves in it, but it's cleaned up and put in the shed, but it needs, um, yeah, it needs serviced and gone through before this fall, but problem for a different day. Uh, the sprayer blew an airbag, so that's what this is. Waiting on an airbag for that. We are currently, our crop is completely burning up. Um, the wheat's cut, the uh, double crops are planted. All my post-emerge spraying is done except for the double crops. Uh, Haggy's been doing okay, I would say. Uh, it's got a hydraulic leak right now. The air conditioner quit working. An airbag blew, and for some reason, it is not regulating air pressure. Uh, the corn is completely burning up right now. It's starting to tassel. If we don't get a rain in the next week or so, um, it's really gonna be going backwards. We're going from 250 bushel corn to 150 bushel corn very, very, very quickly. And that is not me just BSing. I'm completely serious. Uh, we're, we've already lost our top end yield. I know that. Um, if it doesn't rain in the next two, three weeks, we're gonna be looking at 50 and 100 bushel corn, unfortunately. It's part of it. Um, and then with inflation and everything going on, funds are pulling out of the commodity market right now. So even though we're burning up, commodities are tanking right now. It's not a matter really of supply and demand. It's, it's funds and profit taking right now, but is what it is. Uh, bailed a lot of hay lately. I uh, got a little bit stacked out there. I've got a heck of a lot sitting in the fields that I need to start hauling in, but been busy spraying, so it's been taking priority. But just wanted to give an update. The beans are still looking good. Um, they are, all in all, not looking terrible for as dry as it is. The corn, however, is definitely showing it. Um, I mean, if you look at the yard, 
getting very, very dead very, very quickly. Um, even the grass is starting to burn up around here. So we really, really, really need to rain. There's been a few pop-up showers um, where people have got like a tenth here and there. I got one on like 30% of what I farm the other day, but I got less than a tenth of an inch. Um, it was gone and dried up two hours later. So is what it is. Magnum's clean it up. Planter is not unhooked yet. It's cleaned up, but uh, these double crop beans that I got planted are very, very close to being a replant scenario, but until we get some moisture, there's no point. Uh, a lot of them were just laying right up on top of the ground. They didn't have enough moisture um, to get in. I had the down pressure set as, as much as I could set it. I had my depth set at like two inches and is struggling to cut through that wheat stubble and then concrete ground it just it was struggling but this tractor i'm looking for somebody to rebuild the motor um it's an n14 cummins so not too complicated i know they're great motors this one's just getting a little tired and got some blow by and needs some work i bought it used it is what it is it's a heck of a tractor it's been a great tractor well what little I've had it. Other than the motor, it's been a good tractor. Uh, shifts good, runs, well, doesn't run good, I guess. Got great tires, great weights, but runs like shit. So, um, motor needs rebuilt, but everything else about it, I like. That's not as big of a deal as it sounds. I bought that tractor for like 55, 60,000. Uh, I'll probably have 15 or 20 in it to have it rebuilt. Um, so, then I'll have, you know, 75, 80,000 wrapped up in this tractor, but essentially it will have zero hours on it. Transmission was done a uh, thousand hours ago. I have all the paperwork on that. So I'll essentially have a thousand hour tractor, zero hour tractor, whatever you want to call it. It's got great tires on it. They're like 90, 95% tread, got lots of weights on it. For me to buy a 450 horse articulating tractor like that, you're looking at new, 350, 450,000 at least. So uh, it is a bareback. I wish it had a PTO and three point, but it doesn't. Um, but still um, running that and rebuilding it is going to be way, way cheaper than um, starting over new. So, and way more reliable in my opinion because everything on it's mechanical. Uh, a rebuild is not a huge deal. Uh, Resleeve it. Pistons, piston rings, um, call it a day. But I just wanted to give an update because I haven't really YouTubed at all and my videos are like a month behind. There's a lot of wheat harvest videos coming out. There's a lot of spraying, hay cutting, miscellaneous shop job job, just shop job junk. That's what I was trying to say, coming out. But, uh, Getting ready to knock that down. We're gonna start pulling all the tin off the roof and we're gonna use that here inside this shop. Uh, we might take a couple of the good windows out and put them here in the shop. Um, but other than that, we've salvaged everything. I'm gonna salvage out of that house. Uh, like the bathroom sink, stuff like that's still gonna come in here. Oh, and I bought a boat. It doesn't run currently. Well, it does and it doesn't. Uh, I bought it very, very cheap as a fixer upper. Um, it's a Nautique um, wake boat, like the wakeboard. Um, but seats are junk, um, but I paid like not a lot of money at all for it. So fixing it up, it's just a fixer upper. Um, it's definitely gonna be worth something once it's fixed up, but just what I needed. Another project around here, as if I don't have enough junk around here to work on. I wouldn't say junk, but just I got a lot of stuff that needs fixed all the time. But anyhow, corn looks like shit. Beans look meh. They need a rain. Um, wheat did very, very well. Uh, averaged in the 80s, which for reclaimed coal mine ground was very, very, very good. Don't want that in the tire. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give an update. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm like a month, month and a half behind on these videos. Like I cut wheat probably a month ago now. It was like 
June 20th, 25th. It was earlier than that actually. So I guess it hasn't quite been a month either way, but still, um, just wanted to give an update. These kind of things are behind. Uh, my lawnmower shot a four foot flame out of the muffler. So that was cool. Uh, they called me and said it was done today. It's under warranty, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd give a little 10 minute rant of an update. And uh, well, thank you guys for watching. And if you made it this far or you've never watched these videos, uh, make sure to subscribe. I think I finally rolled over 20,000 subscribers. So that was pretty cool. I mean, apparently 20,000 of you aren't too bored to watch these videos. So Hey, if we could get 20,000 more, that'd be cool. Uh, and if we do that, I think my wife is going to start editing videos. And she's actually working here now. So she's going to be in a lot of videos to come. Um, probably not as exciting because she tears up a lot less equipment than I do. Because she's got a lot more patience than I do. But uh, she's going to be in these videos. She's actually going to start editing these videos, filming, all that good stuff. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube jazz, and uh, catch you guys next time. Stay tuned, and all these videos I'm going to try and start cranking out very, very quickly.